Hello guys, welcome to a tutorial on using Firebase authentication with Unity. Firebase is a platform developed by Google that offers many services such as web hosting, a real-time database, and user authentication, which is what we're going to be using in this tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to be creating a user login system for Unity using Firebase. We will go over setting up a project in the Firebase console, and then how to log in and register a user using Unity. So let's get started. First thing that you'll need to do if you don't already have a Unity project that you are integrating this system into is download the starter project I made from my GitHub. Link is in the description. This starter project includes some basic UI that we'll be using to log in and register the user in Unity. It also has this UI manager object with a UI manager script on it that basically handles the register button to go to the register screen and the back button to go back to the login screen. If you don't want to use this project, that's fine as well. You can create your own or use an existing project. I do suggest using my starter project though, as it's the easiest way to follow along with the tutorial. The other thing I want to mention is that I'm using Unity version 2019.4.8 for this tutorial. I do suggest being on at least Unity version 2019 to make sure that everything works. Now that we have the starter project, we're going to open our browser and go to firebase.com. And once you are here, you will go to the top right and click sign in. And then here you will sign in with your Google account. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, now that I'm signed in, I can now go to the top right again, this time clicking on go to console, and you'll see that the console will load. You can see here some of my existing projects. You probably won't have any yet though, so we're going to go ahead and click add project. Okay, now let's give the project a name. Let's call it Firebase Tutorial, and then let's click continue. You can see here it tells you a little bit about Google Analytics, which we're going to turn off because we don't need it for this tutorial. But uh, if you want it, I think you can turn it on again later. So now we're just going to create project. Okay, and now it's finished. So we're going to click continue. And now we have a Firebase project created and this is the Firebase console. So now we need to set up our Firebase project for Unity. So we're going to click on this little Unity icon here. Okay, so now here we're going to register this app as an Android app. Uh, we are making this for desktop, but the Android app register works for desktop. It's kind of weird that they haven't made a separate one for desktop yet, but for now, this register as Android app works for desktop as well. Okay, and for the Android package name, you can see if you hover over this question right here, it tells you exactly where to find it in build settings, Android, player settings, other settings, and then the build identifier. Okay, so in Unity, we're going to go to file, build settings, player settings, and then we're going to scroll down, open other settings, and then find the bundle identifier, and we're going to copy that and paste it in here. Okay, now we can add a nickname. This is optional. Let's just put tutorial, and then we're going to click register app. Okay, now we're going to download this Google services.json file. And then if we click next here, we're also going to download this Firebase Unity SDK zip file. And then you can click next and then continue back to the console. Okay, now you're going to have to go to wherever those two files were downloaded to, most likely your downloads folder. And let's drag in the Google services.json to our assets folder inside Unity. Okay, now for the Firebase SDK, as you can see, I already extracted the zip file. So we're going to go into Unity, go to Assets, Import Package, Custom Package. Then we're going to find the folder. We're going to open it. And we're going to go to .NET 4 folder and then find Firebase Auth.Unity Package and click Open. Okay, now we're going to make sure everything's checked and then click Import. Okay, once it's done bringing in the package, it's going to open this Package Manager Resolver window. We're just going to click add the selected registries and then we're going to make sure that both of these are checked and then we're going to click apply and then we're going to wait for it to resolve all the packages. Okay, once it's done, we can go to window, package manager and change it to in project and you should see Firebase authentication down here under Google LLC and this way we know that it's been added successfully. Okay, now if we jump back into the Firebase console here, we're going to go to authentication and we're going to set up a sign-in method. And the method that we're going to be using here is email and password. So we're going to click on that. We're going to enable it. 
and then click save down here. Okay, now email and password is enabled. Let's just take a look at the templates here. Here you can set up email templates for email address verification, password reset, uh, email address changing and such. We're not gonna touch that though. Here you can see the usage, so how close you are to your limit before you have to start paying money. And then if we go back to the users here, we're gonna add a user here for testing. Let's just call it uh, test at test.com, doesn't really matter. And then let's just give it uh, 123456 for the password and uh, add user. There we go, we got our test user made. Okay, now back in Unity, we're going to right click in the hierarchy and create an empty object. We're gonna name it Auth Manager. And then we are going to right click on the transform component and reset it so it's in the center. Now this game object's gonna hold our script with all our Firebase logic on it. So we're gonna to go to our scripts folder, right click, create a C sharp script. We're gonna name it Auth Manager. And then that script will open in Visual Studio. And now the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna delete the start and update function. And then we are going to add using Firebase, the top, and we're going to add using firebase.off. And then we're gonna add using text mesh pro. Okay, now I'm gonna copy in from my reference script all the variables that we're gonna need here. So you can either copy them from GitHub or pause the video and copy them yourself. But basically we have all our login UI variables here and same thing with the register. We have all our inputs and text variables. Okay, so now we're gonna go back into Unity and on our auth manager object here, we're going to drag our auth manager script as a component onto that object. And you can see here all our variables we just added in the script are here. So now we're gonna to have to go ahead and populate those with the objects in our hierarchy here. So let's open the canvas and find all those objects. So under login UI will be under elements, the email input, so we can drag that in. And then same with password input, the warning login text, and then the child to that is the confirm text. Okay, now under the register UI, under elements, the username input, we need the email input, and then the uh, password input, and then the confirm password input as well. And then there's also a warning text for us to drag in there. And there we go, now we have all our UI elements attached to the script. Okay, now back in our script, we're gonna make a void awake. And then in here, I'm gonna again copy from my reference this here checks to make sure all the dependencies for Firebase are present on your system. And then when it's finished, it sets the result. And if they're all available, it's gonna run this initialize Firebase function, otherwise it's gonna throw an error. And then as you can see, we need an initialize Firebase function here. So this one basically just says that we've successfully set up Firebase auth, and then it sets our auth variable to the default instance. So feel free to pause here and copy all the code. Okay, so now we are going to add the login button function and the register button function. These two basically get called when you click the login button. It's going to start the login function where we pass the email field text and the password field text to the login function. And the same thing for the register. It's going to do a register function, but this time we're going to pass the email field, the register password field, and the username field to the register function. So go ahead and copy these two functions. Okay, this next one's pretty big, the login enumerator function, where again, it passes the email and password strings. You can see here it starts the login task where it does auth.signin with email and password async. So this basically goes to the Firebase database, passes the email and password you're trying to send it. And then it's going to wait until it gets a response and if the login task has an exception, so an error, then it's going to do some stuff with the error here and get it in a usable form. And then we're basically going to use that to go through the error and display to our user using the warning text, you know, if it's missing the email, missing the password, wrong password, email, invalid email, basically to let the user know why it didn't work. And then if it did work, then it's going to run the else down here and it's gonna set the user equal to the result. 
and it's going to debug log the display name and the user's email and then it's going to reset the warning text and say confirm to logged in. That's the login function. I know it's a big one but here it is for you to go ahead and copy it. Okay now one more function it's the biggest one but it's the last one the register uh, enumerator function again passing the email and password and username so if the username is blank we're just going to give the warning that it's missing a username uh, if the password does not match the verify password field then we're going to say the passwords don't match and then if it's good then we're going to start the register task so auth.create user with email and password async passing the email and password so it's going to go to the firebase database and create a new user when it's done it's going to check for errors the same thing and then it's going to if there's no errors set the user equal to the result the user is not equal to null it's going to create a new profile with the display name equal to the username so it's basically setting the username and then it's going to run a profile task where it does user update user profile async which is again just setting the username and when that's finished it again checks for an error if it there is it says username set failed otherwise if it's good it's going to return back to the login screen and then it's going to reset the warning text and I know this one was pretty big so here's the whole function if you need to copy it and then just like that we are now done all the code okay now back in unity we have a few more things to do so let's go to our button login button and scroll down here and click the plus on the on click and drag in our auth manager object go to the auth manager and login button function and then we have to do the same thing with the register button so under buttons register button and add another on click drag in our auth manager go to find the register button function and there we go now we have our two buttons set up and linked to our script so let's click play here and test it so the first thing let's test to see if we can log in with that user we made in the firebase console so test at test.com and then one two three four five six log in yep logged in Okay, now let's test to see if we can register a new user. So let's call it uh, zippy and we'll give it uh, zippy at gmail.com. And then we'll just give it 123456 as the password. Confirm and click register. Brings us back to this screen. Let's try and log in now. It was zippy at gmail.com and 123456. And let's click login. Logged in. There we go. We're good. If we go back to our Firebase console here and reload, you should see that now zippy at gmail.com is in here. And that's it, you pretty much reached the end of the tutorial. You now should have a simple user login and register system working in Unity with Firebase. I will mention that from within the Firebase console on the top right here, you can click go to docs and then get started for Unity. And then in here you can go to, well, we were doing authentication and in here, if you go to Unity, you can see all of their documentation on how to use it with Unity. So if you want to learn more or do anything else, then you should be able to find help in here. If you get stuck on anything related to this tutorial, I suggest looking at the complete project on GitHub and comparing your code and copying it if needed. And then if you're still really stuck, then you can of course join my Discord server and ask for help there. So yeah, I hope this helped everybody that was interested. Thanks for watching.